So this video will cover the next example of the Hamblin and the Harginan course. So this is question four from the 2018 paper. So this data handling question is including a double y-axis graph, so we're going to have to use the same procedure we did for the previous double y-axis graphs in the other videos. So one double y we will cover with yellow highlighter, so this is mother's breastfeeding, and it tells you that this is the kind of dotted line. Okay, the other line would be the infant mortality rate. This is the one here. And then note the mother breastfeeding is percentage and the infant mortality rate is per 100,000 infants. Okay, so the first question is state the infant mortality rate when 35% of the mothers are breastfeeding. So first of all, 35% of the mothers are breastfeeding would be here. So our infant mortality rate at that point is here. And we need to read it off the correct scale so we're reading it from about here. Now, each box in the scale is 0 0.4. So one box below 6 would mean that that is 5.6. Okay, so note in this question there are no units stated, so you would have to say 5.6 and then state the units for this question, which is per 100,000 infants. Without that unit, you don't get the mark. Okay, so make sure that you state that. For part two, this is a percentage decrease question. So percentage decrease in the infant mortality between 2009 and 2012. So infant mortality is our orange one, and we're doing 2009 to 2012. So infant mortality is here. Okay, that first value for 2009 is 6.4 and then the next value for 2012 is 4. So for this calculation we do difference over starting times 100. So our difference between those two numbers is 2.4 and we started at 6.4. So that difference then, when we divide it by the starting number, gives us 0 0.375 and then what we do is we times that value by 100 to get our percentage. So that percentage then is 37.5. Now the question has already said it's a decrease so you don't need to include the minus or the negative but you'd have to be careful if it said um, percentage change you'd have to include the negative or say decrease. Okay, part four, describe evidence from the graph which indicates that the increase in mother's breastfeeding cannot be the only reason for the decrease in infant mortality. So if we have a look at the data on the graph, what it's asking is, indicates that an increase in mother's breastfeeding cannot be the only reason for the decrease. So mother's in breastfeeding will always, in this graph, increase. But infant mortality does not always decrease. Between these two points, or these three points, there's actually an increase. In breastfeeding but an increase also in infant mortality so you'd have to state those years so those years are 2007 to 2009 okay so between 2007 to 2009 there's an increase in breastfeeding but infant mortality also increases. Okay, so well, infant mortality is increasing or it's not decreasing. Okay, and the values would have to be included because it states from the graph. Okay, the next part of the question is across the page. So, the table contains information from a Scottish survey comparing the incidence of diarrhea in breastfed and bottle-fed babies. So it gives you a comparison for the 0 to 3 and then a 4 to 6 age group and then breast and bottle fed. So for this question it's asking you to calculate how many times greater the incidence of diarrhoea is when it, a 0 to 3 month old baby is bottle fed rather than breast fed. So we're looking at the 0 to 3 month category 
I'm looking at bottle fed compared to breastfed. So how many times greater is that number? So all you need to do is divide this value. So you have 21.6 as bottle fed divided by the number of breastfed. Okay, so divided by 3.6. So that value then when you divide 21.6 divided by 3.6, you get it six times greater. 21.6 is six times greater than 3.6. Okay, and the last part of this question then is diarrhea is a symptom of intestinal infection. Suggest, okay, and there's an ACL question again, why there's a greater incidence of diarrhea in bottle fed babies. So this basically is looking for you to apply your knowledge of some of unit three and also just some common knowledge that you might have. So if you think about bottle fed babies, if you might have experienced it like from having younger siblings or nieces or nephews or whatever else in experiencing babies, you have to clean the bottles. You have to make sure that the bottles are sterilised and clean. Okay, so it might be that there's been contamination from something, some kind of pathogen. So the bottle or the water or the milk can be contaminated. And you'd have to say by what, okay, or contaminated with. So you could say something like bacteria or pathogens, microbes, viruses, something like that. Okay, but there's another option that you can also describe for this. So breastfed babies tend to just be generally, and this is with no judgment at all, but generally tend to be more healthy babies in terms of less likely to be ill at the start of their, um, the start of their life. And it's because they get immunity or antibodies from their mother. Okay, so you can then link it to your knowledge of that. So breastfed babies get antibodies or immunity from their mother. Okay, and in this, if you're using this example as an answer, antibodies or immunity would be underlined in the marking instruction. You should need to give a bit more detail in terms of what that could be. Okay, and that's question four from 2018 for data handling.